It's TOS Podcast. Today, in the last five days, this is the second time that he's been turned like a roasted chicken. You are a freaking professional. You've been playing football for how long? They have a level of responsibility that they need to impact on the game as footballers. It's TOS Podcast. Welcome to the second episode of TOS Podcasts. I'm going to start by congratulating Arsenal for the win against Bournemouth. They trashed Bournemouth five goals to one. Wow, that's some trashing. I never thought Bournemouth was going to be expecting that. I never even thought so myself. Well, it all started with Mezu Ozi trying to prove his daughters wrong with a goal and an assist for Mkhitaryan, that type of assist that confuses the living daylight of a goalkeeper because the goalkeeper opened up his body like a flying bat. He thought Mezu was going to go for the shot. Instead, Mezu had to pass back to Mkhitaryan who slotted in and, and got a good goal. Well, Mkhitaryan, on the other hand, is seriously fighting for his first team shirt, especially with his Messi-esque run <laughs> leading up to an assist that he gave to um, Aubameyang. That type of assist where he had to prevail a- a- above all the togs and pulls from the Bournemouth players. And Aubameyang didn't really mess that up because he converted that pass with a cool finish. Thank you very much, he said. <laughs> the referee, on the other hand, I think he needs to visit the eye clinic because that was a blat and foul on Gwendozi. But I don't think Gwendozi is going to be bothered about that. I think he should be bothered about hitting the gym, in my opinion, the young lad. He's so skinny. <laughs> Lacazette, Lacazette. Like a black cat, young. I hope I got that right. That's how Troop says it on AFTV. Well, Lacazette scored a sublime free kick coming from the bench. But I don't think he did it alone without the warrior in Socrates. What do I mean? Socrates was actually in the wall, pushing the wall away to create a space for Lacazette to play his free kick. Socrates was practically playing like Samson, who brought out a building and the Bible. That's exactly how we played. I would say it is a nine to forget for Bournemouth, but a momentum build for Arsenal. As a defeat of Tottenham, the arch enemies makes the victory even sweeter. A great preparation for Arsenal to face Tottenham on Saturday. I can't help but just not talk about Tottenham. I have no idea the confusion that descended on Trippier for him to slot out that cool finish past his own goalkeeper. What are you thinking? Do you need a paracetamol or something? I have no idea what happened there, but hey, this nine is about Arsenal and Bournemouth. I'm not gonna go into Tottenham too much. One of those days where one of the arch enemies enjoys his nine, the other doesn't. Hey, thank you very much guys, Arsenal. Come on, you gunners. Stay safe guys and bye. It's TOS Podcast. They have a level of responsibility that they need to impact on the game as footballers. It's TOS Podcast.